How do you achieve your greatness? There's no margin for error. No room for mistakes. You need total control. Your success is determined by your grit. It takes thousands of hours perfecting your moves. And only the strong survive. You think you've paid your dues? You think you're ready to enter the arena? Think again. This is the Telcom Digital Gaming League. This is where legends fight till the last second. Where the action explodes straight through your system. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Amber Showdown game that we have here for you tonight. Rocket League, we've got Danger Kids versus Dominus Venatus, and I'm joined tonight by Demonic. Demonic, it has been a while since we casted together. How are you doing this evening? I am spectacular. Actually, currently getting a little bit of sass from one of the one of the people uh, that we were about to cast uh, in the over uh, Amber Showdown. We're going to be getting okay, Danger Kids, Nebby. Yeah. Um, yeah. Happens to be an old friend of uh, mine that I've spoken to and have casted before, actually. And uh, he—it wasn't his name wasn't Nebby, but because I said Nebby so much, people actually started to call him Nebby. <laughs> so, so now he said, "Not only have I ruined his game, but I'm here to ruin his match as well." So oh, this is something like a little bit of a little bit of sass to get you going on a on a, on a Wednesday evening. Exactly. We're going to be jumping straight into Spectate, and let me tell you, I'm really and truly excited for this game. It's been a while since we've cast a little bit of Rocket League, and we've got a great game here between Danger Kids and uh, Dominus Venatus. So here we're going off with the kickoff, and already a first touch there by Moyapi. Wow, very interesting names. Oh, one Perry already going all aggressive here. And Mother on the air, up in the lay S, going for the aerial, and just in the top right corner. Demonic, I don't know about you, but this game is already looking very exciting, and Danger Kids seem to be all over. Yeah. I mean, okay, 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 Danger Kids are one of the teams to look out for here in the Rocket League DJL. They have done exceptionally well so far. And yep. uh, you can see exactly why. They, they have good aerial and, uh, and good pressure as well. This is a team that likes to pressure. Yeah, they're definitely playing a lot of pressure here. I mean, you see one Perry that's all over the place at the moment. Lazy is also getting all around and, you know, one Perry is also putting a lot of pressure. Mother, they, again, just look at it. They're continuously playing in the f in the third um, of the field here, right by Dominus Venatus and a beautiful yeah. touch there by Lazy putting it down. And I think this is like the first real attack that we have. And Nevi has just kind of just pushed it to the side and all. So Yeah, Nevi's so just uh, not not being able to not being able to get that secondary touch and the way RP might have a ah lazy unfortunately gets it. Troy might be able to follow up here with an aerial wall, but is he going to be able to do it? He's getting uh, it out far. Is. One pair is right there, and this is just the issue that we're already seeing in the first minute and a half of this game is that OG Danger Kids are just all over and they're playing so aggressively. I mean, one Perry right there at the back, and I mean, you don't offer see him at the back there, but when he is, he can counterattack so well. And this is a great shot, just on the top post there. Nothing that uh, <laughs> Dominus Venatus could actually do there. Completely tongue tied. Top with post all the Tina. Pressures. Top post just Tina striking again. Flashing her skirt. <laughs> oh, flashing her skirt, but here we go. We're going to finally got some pressure coming on the blue side, but unfortunately, okay, Perry's going to be there. Troy, try to follow up, try to get that middle, but uh, Orange is just here and ready to. Yeah, you see, Nebby's just not be able to get anything done. And now it's going to be an aggression oh, from right. their own. That's an open goal. And that's going to be an easy, easy score for Mother. Two, two, two minutes into the game and Mother, just a beautiful little touch off the, the wall. Simple aerial. I mean, in cases like that, it picks up as an aerial hit, which is a little bit strange in my eyes. But nevertheless, 1-0 to OK Danger Kids. The pressure's on. It's time to see what, what Dominus Venetius are actually able to do in bringing this back. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have to work some hard here, but I mean, the overaggression can can work against OK if they do manage to get some form of breakaway. So we're going to see another, OK making another aggressive movement here. Beautiful center, but unfortunately, none of his teammates are, are there to follow up with the final little touch to get it down. Maybe beautiful save coming out from him. Is he going to be able to center it? No. EZ is coming in, centering oh, up for his wow. teammates. And Mother, with a beautiful little aerial touch, puts it in. I mean, let's have a look at this. Lazy just 
touching it into the middle. Mother getting right up earlier before the rest of Dominus Venatus. Just getting the little touch, getting the angle right, putting it into the goals. 2-0 up, and we've got two and a half minutes left of this uh, the first game of this best of five. Yep, and uh, it looks like, okay, okay, Danger Kids are coming in, fighting. Oh, Nevi, with a cheeky little touch. Unfortunately, left post Lucy is there to claim claim it and stop that goal from taking place. We might see a little bit of pressure come out here from OK. Nevi does come back onto the defense, manages to get it onto the other side. For the meantime, it looks like we're going to see SG on the offensive. But OK, Mother, just so good on the fence. Oh, OK, Bizarre, lazy. Now try to set it up. <laughs> confused, confused jump into the air as he's not quite sure how to touch that ball. Troy now gets a chance on, on his own offensive in that Batmobile, but lazy. Gets the midfield pick up, Nebby there to stop it in the meantime, give his teammates some time to get back into that midfield. And we're going to see a beautiful little cross ball here. Gets oh, into the mother. air, mother. Oh my goodness. Beautiful aerial getting right up, but Troy was right there to stop it. I mean, again, OK Danger Kids are putting on the pressure here. Again, Lazy has just got a nice little interception. Unfortunately, not really able to capitalize there. So unfortunate. Troy going up for the aerial, but completely misses it. Mother getting the touch. And again, nobody's there. Why wasn't Perry just there? Possibly just going in, you know, if he was there in time, he would have been able to get the counter-attack. There could have been easily another goal. But Mother just going again with another aerial, putting a lot of pressure. The only thing that's happening at the moment is that everybody's just keeping it. Okay, Danger Kids are just keeping it in the half there of, yeah. of Dominus Venatus. And, I mean, you need to have possession to score a goal. And it's just not happening. So there we go. We see the first little bit of attack. And, oh... Is this another goal? Yep, it is going to be another it simple is. goal there by Perry. Brilliant little touch there. I mean, have a look. All this pressure just eventually mounts up. And the only way to relieve all of this is by scoring a goal. And it just seems that Danger Kids at the moment are just all over Dominus Venatus, putting a lot of pressure on. They're not able to get out of it. And I think that this game is pretty much signed and sealed and closed. But hopefully Dominus Venatus can come back in the second game, have a relook. And maybe just, you know, fight fire with fire and see if it doesn't work out for them. Oh yeah, I think I think Lazy in the midfield there is doing some extreme amounts of work for the OK Bazaar team. Between him and Mother, they have been able to set up just some beautiful shots and Lazy just never lets it never lets it get onto, you know, his team's side of the field. He's always just there, even if it's playing there, as we can see he's doing it at the moment. Just playing with the ball, making sure that it's staying here and that the pressure is being applied. You know, to to S G, which is some beautiful little aerial interactions coming out here, and that's something that I think they're going to have to shut down in the mid game. Maybe clear it, or make sure that they get the touch going in. You know, the first touch going into the rest of the series because it can make all the difference. Ten seconds left on the clock here, as we see things rounded up. We do are actually on the okay side of the, of the board for for time. Lazy, oh, doesn't actually manage to get the aerial, but Perry's going to be there to shut it down, and that's going to be first game in the bag for OK Danger Kids. Yeah, first game. I mean, just need to win another two in this best of five series. And I mean, if we have a look at that game, they just played the better aerial than than uh, DG. And it made it out in the end. It just came down to that where they just didn't play. Just okay, Danger Kids were just a lot better in the air. They applied so much pressure. I think of those five minutes, at least three and a half minutes was played in the third of DG's side, which, which is a yeah. huge problem. I mean, you need to get out there uh demonic you also need to click ready and besides that i mean you need Fair. to you need you need to apply pressure you need to get you you need to put pressure on your your opponent's team we saw what had happened there with ok danger kids as soon as they applied a lot of pressure it just came down to in the end that you apply pressure you 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 keep the you know you you deny your opponents of any sort of possession and this is what happens in the end you start picking up goals as soon as there's a break in the defense this is what happens so we just yeah i mean it's just it. it's just it's a it's a it's a matter of um uh i can't remember who said it but it's if, if you touch the ball first they never get a chance to react i'm not sure if it might have been Kronobi. um and that's that is such a huge thing in rocket league if you manage to get the you know the, the aerial touch first that means that the, there's an opposing teammate sitting pointlessly in the air which, allow, which was going to allow your team to pressure. And there's these, oh. these tiny little things that end up adding and making huge differences. Troy just unfortunately missing the aerial there. Nelly on the offensive. Okay, Perry <laughs> doing some defensive work, bouncing it off top post Tina to get some distance into the midfield. Okay, Mother actually misses the follow up here, so this might be an opportunity. Perry is there with the secondary follow through just to make sure that that is at least going 
towards the enemy's goals. Moy, RP, and Troy having a bit of an argument there to, <laughs> on the wall, but Troy does manage to get away in time to defend this, as we see it just flying from left to right and across the poles of the mother, trying to get another touch, but and that actually sends it towards his, his side of the field as you now I see some good field. Oh, beautiful post, but a right post regime is there to get it. Maybe with a secondary oh. shot, Troy, unfortunately, Troy just a little just, bit too far left. Just true. It just didn't quite have the right angle on that. I mean, here we go. This is what we were talking about during this break, is that DG needed to put this pressure onto OK Danger Kids. And it's exactly, look at what is happening. This is the first real attack that they've had, that oh, that Danger Kids have had. And look at it. It's completely wasted. Look at how much pressure they are applying. And you see, it's just getting closer and closer. Top post Tina is there. There's been a right race Regina. You see, there's just a lot of pressure that they're actually applying here. And it's it's eventually at some stage, okay, danger kids are going to crumble to it. If you have a look, um, yeah. DG, they're getting up to the balls a lot earlier now in the aerials. They're feeling a lot more confident. Mm -hmm. If you get up earlier than your opponent, and if you guys are at the same distance, you will touch the ball. And as you mentioned, that if you're up in the air and you get the touch, the first touch onto it, you've got a you'll you'll have an opponent that's just sitting and drifting in air for a few seconds. Which means effectively you've got a one-man advantage, and you need to make it. You need to take, you know, full control over those kind of things. And again, here we see the pressure. It's a little bit of an open goal, and oh, mother with a beautiful shot, but Moy Arpi with a fantastic save there. And again, ball's just going through to midfield. And let's see if 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 Danger Kids can reply to this. I don't think they felt this much pressure in the first game, and it's definitely showing here now. Yeah, I think they're just taking a little bit more risks here on the side of of DG, just trying to get. More aerials. I mean, we can see now that. Uh, uh, I mean, Boy RP got a beautiful save there, but he, even taking those risks, even if you don't get them, there are some that you do actually hit, and that makes a huge difference because it could be that opening that you need. Troy here coming in in the middle field, and uh, that that is an opening that all sides oh! here. Navy's got to be able to finish it. So DG taking the advantage here with the first goal, two minutes twenty one on the clock. And that's the pressure that we're looking for. Exactly. This is the same pressure. We saw the pressure. Just continuously playing now in the third of OK Danger Kids. And eventually, they had to succumb to pressure. They had to be relieved somewhere from all of this. I mean, it's basic chemistry as well. Eventually, with heat in a container, at some stage, it will explode one way or another. And Nebi just had that. He had the opportunity. They gave him the opportunity. And he just capitalized on it. And ended up with now with a 1-0 lead here for dg and we've still only got we've only got two minutes left so a much lower scoring game at the moment but we can see it completely just turn around dg putting a lot more pressure onto onto uh danger kids here and we can actually see it now i mean mother we saw last time first game all over the show he was up in the first in you know in the in, in the opposing half he was up in the air all the time oh, oh this is disgusting speaking Beautiful. about mother <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say that Lazy hasn't been able to get his midfield work done, but then just a beautiful center to Mother, who pops it into, pops it into that right pocket, and Absolutely. to seal it, what one forty left on the clock, and we've got an equal game on our hands, Pengu. This is actually a lot of fun, Demonic. I mean, as you mentioned, we saw pre in the beginning, you know, Lazy was so demonic and so powerful in the midfield, and Mother just was was always up there up front always taking advantage of the midfield plays by lazy and we just haven't really been able to see it and then you know we speak too early and things like that happen Nebby. oh my word Nebby out of nowhere flying around like superman just takes advantage of this seeing him going up coming up hitting it just above the top post connection point coming down and just nothing that dg or ok could do 2-1 to DG, Dominus Vedatus, and I believe we really got a game on our hands now, yeah, Demonic. He's done, okay. yeah, beautiful little save here, coming out from Moy RP, he's going to deny that from, from Mother in the meantime. Isn't going to be able to get the follow-up, Lazy does manage to get that field, but this is a good clear coming out to the side of OK, the Angel Kids. Mother is going to be able to get the middle touch, but it does give it a bit of center. Both oh. two of them are in mid-air at the moment, that could be dangerous. But Mother is going to be able to seal it. No sign of DG in sight to seal it up. 55 seconds left on the clock, and we go 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two, and look at this. Mother, I just felt that maybe a little bit too aggressive there at that stage. Maybe two people going for the ball there by DG wasn't quite working out. They needed somebody at the back to actually defend for something like that. And oh, wow, look at that. Completely just... That's very strange. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's not something you see every day. 
Sometimes the only thing you ever see like that is in matchmaking. It's normally by accident. What just happened? What just happened, Penguin? I have no clue what Can is you... happening here. What is Troy happening man Troy, Troy managed to get a mistouch. Nemi circles the ball, doesn't get it. Perry says, okay, I'll score if you're not going to touch that ball. Goal. I feel like they potentially, you know, they just don't know what's going on. It just seems like they've all of a sudden become a little bit clueless with regards to this. And just... Danger lost kids lost the potential to Rocket League. Yeah, lost the potential to Rocket League in that in that instance, and uh, being able to do it. Maybe he's still looking a little bit lost there, just sort of driving around. But we are going to get some uh, Troy managing to do some good midfield work here. Moy RP unfortunately doesn't get the seal, and uh, maybe is not going to be able to get that touch in the meantime. So we're going to have an okay Danger Kids offensive coming out here. Oh. That's going to be a beautiful center, and uh, Mother the DK seals it with a kiss. Unfortunately, I mean, if you have a look at the shot, yeah, it definitely came off one of the players here yeah, from... It looked like Nevi, yeah. So yeah. Nevi, unfortunately, just not being able to get the angle to actually just deflect it. Send it back in the corner and straight back up into the midfield. Um, just potentially a little bit of missed time, but he really put in the effort there to get there. And I think this is going to then now seal the deal for the second game in this best of five. And it looks like the Danger Kids are going to be going up 2-0. Moy RP with a little consolation goal there, just below top post Tina, and you know three four, already huge improvement from the first game. You could see yeah. if they continue like this, I do believe we're going to have a really good game on our hands, and we might be able to see a clean, real sweep here if 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 well, if, if DG are able to actually bring it back. They've got, well, they've got one game left to do it. Yeah, thank you. It's currently sitting at two zero up to OK Danger Kids. DG are going to have to. Put in the work. Maybe 2 1 and 3 doing really well. Yep. Considering yep. he has the highest ping in the game. Well, which is uh, always something to consider. Oh, I do I do know that every time you and I play, we always say that our first goal is to get more points than our ping. And once we do that, then we need to focus on winning. Just to show that one of us is not carrying the other, really. But I mean, going back to the game that is ahead of us here, I mean, DG already there. They applied so much extra pressure. And eventually, okay, you know, the Danger Kids crumbled to that. I came down between sort of a challenge between uh, Troy and Lazy in the mid game, in the midfield. Exactly. So it Sorry, as I joined the spectator. No stress. Yeah, so it, um, so it was just, uh, it came down to, to Lazy and Troy. And Troy actually managed to get some of the betters of those of those aerials. And oh. uh, this is not the start that you wanted, <laughs> Pengu. This is definitely not the start that you are looking for, right to the beginning. Just the first initial touch, Perry just continuing, and at that speed, no one's going to be able to do anything. And 1-0 to Danger Kids already within the first second of the game. Oh, it's not the ideal situation, but Lazy does manage to get a touch here. Okay, Perry is not going to be able to get the follow through. Troy is there to get the second. Okay, Mother, Mother is now sitting at an open goal. Oh. And uh, is this is this DG slowly falling apart in the first 12 seconds of this game? Who knows? I mean, at the moment, it just seems like, okay, everything has worked out for them. They've received the balls that have come off the wall for the aerials. I mean, look at the start there that Perry just had the, 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 the great chance of the touch being able to, to, oh, wow. It looked there like Perry just missed that one quite badly. So we see Lazy all up in the middle field again. And Nebi just letting that one slide. 3-0. And we haven't even seen the first 30 seconds of this game yet. What has happened to DG? Well, I think, okay, the Danger Kids are pretty mad that uh, they scored, got some goals scored against them in their previous game. Because it looks like they are out to prove a point here in this one. And uh, we've got to see some offensive coming out now. We're going to be able to get that touch. That is an open goal, but Perry is going to be able to get the little kick off to the side in the meantime. Troy does be able to get it back into the midfield. Mother is there to clear it out and get it onto the side. That's going to be another offensive. Maybe is there to oh. stop it in the meantime, but that is very dangerous. Perry, right post regime. Oh, Troy manages to get it out of the... Bunt it out of that corner just in time and... We're now going to see Troy does, unfortunately, not manage to get lazy doing his midfield work as usual. Nebi, Moy, and Moy Ivy sitting at the back here trying to do what he can to keep it on, on on the opposing side of the field. Troy is now going to go up and get a good punt. Perry does manage to get the aerial touch, get it going a little bit further than you, you'd want it to. And Moy Ivy is going to be there. All three, 
all three of DG are on the side of this field at the moment, just trying to apply as much pressure as they can. They know they have to score the, these goals if they want to stay in the game. Troy does manage to get the deflect to give them a pretty good center, but Mother DK is going to be able to get there for the first touch. Moy, once again, going in. But, I mean, where do you... What do they have? Like, OK's defense is just here all the time. Exactly. They're just being... They are so well coordinated. There's always at least one person back. They're not starving each other of boost. They are coordinating their attacks. They're always making sure that if one person is up in the first third of the field, there's at least another person in the second in the in the second third of the field, in the midfield. They're always making sure that there is one person backing up. They're yeah. not chasing after the ball. They're waiting for the ball to come to them. If they see that there's a challenge that that is not worthwhile going for, they don't. Except that Perry just kind of well mother proved me wrong there by actually going for a challenge that was really not his. But I mean, besides that Generally, they're playing this game so well. They're not going for the challenges where they're not going to, you know, they're making sure, will I be the first person to touch this? Yes. Then they're going for it. So they're waiting for the ball to come to them. They're taking advantage of things like that. And Perry with a magnificent touch, getting the perfect angle, slipping it between the defenders, their Nebi and goal, and between Nebi and Troy, and sneaking it past to a Moy RP there in the goals, really trying with his Octane to try to get across to actually block. Unable to 4-0 and again it's just looking at what happened to the dg from the first game yeah i mean the the dg from the previous game just fell apart and we're now sitting two minutes 30 zero four i mean it's a long road to climb if you if you if you're dg it is doable but they're gonna need to start putting the pressure on soon but it looks like okay bizarre troy okay, does manage to actually bizarre. save that this <laughs> okay <bizarre. laughs> Oh, there's a story. There's a story to that that, that I will that I'll explain in a little bit. Um, but uh, so, okay, okay, danger, kids. Sorry, um, are just exerting a lot of pressure here and staying cool under pressure when when the offensive is actually on their side. Maybe he does manage to get a good midfield here. Is he going to be able to follow it up? He is, but unfortunately, the okay danger kids defender is there. But he's doing a lot of work here. He needs a little bit of help though. The, I'm not sure that's the help that Moy RP wanted to give Troy. Does come forward, and that's gonna mean that. Oh dear! Oh, wow. oh dear! Lazy and them all okay. missing very simple aerials. But the thing is, though, I don't understand why Moy RP didn't get up earlier to that. But Navy has really got it up there, and Troy is again there. But unfortunately, just not able to capitalize. And here we go. Here's a counter attack here. But okay, Danger Kids, and again, just Troy. Again. Mother taking advantage of the touch there by Navy. Unfortunately, not getting it above the post, but just high enough. There was just under top post Tina and mother just comes in slots it there in the top right hand corner easy goal 5-0 to OK danger kids and Unfortunately that reverse sweep is just looking a little bit more Unlikely here for DG, but never count them out. This is esports anything can happen I mean that is a very optimistic thing to say Pengu, but let's do it mother is on the offensive once again He's played a superb game superb series here today just I mean, he has been the top goal scorer by a country mile. It looks like he is trying to at least get another one in before he, uh, this series comes to the end. Moy RP is going to be able to do something himself. Does get a pretty good aerial here, but Lazy is going to be able to at least get it out to the side for the meantime. And that means, once again, DG on the defensive. Oh, Mother just slides it right. Not being able to get the right touch, oh. but he does get a secondary touch. Mother, uh, again. Puts it in the right direction. Mother definitely took top goal scorer. And just look at him. He always just seems to be in the right place at the right time. He's having a fantastic game here at the moment, finding the correct angles. He's always up in, in DG in DG Dominus Ventus' face. He's always there in the top third. And just what are they going to do? Lazy here with a brilliant touch. And Nebi just seems a little bit lost. And Omo, we're just off the top, top right. And just not able to go in there for Lazy Z. And Troy, oh my word, they are just trying to keep playing this game in their half. And it's really not going to work out for them. And I think this is maybe what has fallen apart. It just didn't seem like things have been going their way this half. Troy's pushing it upfield. He's going up into the corner. Let's see if he can get up a decent center. Lazy with a fantastic stop. Yeah, uh, this is going to be one Perry doing a final rule. We've got 15 seconds left to the clock. He is trying to get himself a goal. Lazy! Managing to slide through the defenders and get himself another goal just to make sure that that midfielder, you know, he gets some points on the board as well. Lazy. And uh, that's going to be not quite not quite the Brazil-Germany sitting at 7-0 to opposed to the 7-1 unless the most 
the last 11 seconds happen to be amazing here from the side of DG. Oh. But unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be even worse. Zero, eight. And this just seems so unlucky because the the score line doesn't reflect at all the skill of DG Dominus Ventus. I mean, look at the second game, 4-3. They applied oh. so much pressure. This it, it honestly just doesn't justify. And at the moment, OK Danger Kids are just making it look as if they are pros at this. Oh, oh, they've done it. There's the you spoke too goal. soon. There, there's three seconds th left. Three seconds left. If there's three, three one-second goals, we're still sitting at four eight. Unfortunately, yeah. not enough. Um, but it's not over until the fat lady sings. Unfortunately, and oh, danger mean, kids eight one still. Yeah, I mean that's the last second. Someone's gonna. I put it down on the ground. They'll keep it up for the meantime. Uh, but that's going to be Danger Kids. And that's it. Wrapping it up, yeah. So Danger Kids, so, wrapping yeah. up this quarterfinal in the Amber Showdown, 3-0 in the best of five. Actually quite... Um, I can't say... It doesn't really feel that it, it, it justified the way that uh, DG Dominus Ventus actually played today. Uh, you know, they... They just seemed to, they had moments of glory, but for the most part, just seemed to struggle to find their rhythm. And uh, mostly this is uh, due to the fact that OK was able to get to the ball first for a majority of the series, thanks to some beautiful work from from the likes of Mother and uh, and Lazy. And, uh, and Mother just always, you know, he trusted his teammates. He trusted that one Perry and Lazy were always there to be able to get those goals. And look, look what happened at the end of the day. He was... Just destroying um, the midfield and being able to... They had no reply to that, unfortunately, the DG. So I think it's not, there's nothing for them to take away against. I think they were just a little bit, uh, perhaps slightly outskilled, although Nebi's going to hate me, hate me for this now, I think, because he's <laughs> not my biggest fan to begin with. Okay. Uh, it's always nice to have a little bit of... Uh... Uh, I don't even know if I really want to say hate is the right word, but it's always nice for fun when there's a little bit of dislike between twin casters and some of the players and everything. But nevertheless, let's just say again, DG, OK Danger Kids going through 3-0, going through to the semifinals, um, they're looking really well. If they play like that again, I mean, just about any other team is going to struggle against them. Um, I mean, if we have to focus on one player specifically here that really outshone everyone, is definitely Mother. He had a fantastic game, you know, outscoring people, as you said, by a country mile. He was all over. He was always in the face of Dominus Ventus. He was always there, ready to capitalize on the on the clearances, which didn't go 100%. He was always there to capitalize on Lazy in the midfield with his amazing midfield work. He was always there to back up Perry if he was in the goals that could bounce out, or if he was in the goals, that he would be able to launch a counter-attack. Unfortunately, yeah. we didn't really get to see a lot of him there in the goals. I mean, looking at the scoreline, the first game and the third game, you, you as we saw, they just were all over Dominus Ventus. They were playing in their third of the field the entire game. And it just shows down as much as you have possession. Unfortunately, you need to get that upfield. And without that possession, you're not going to get up there. And it just shows in the end what OK Danger Kids are capable of doing. And I feel if they continue playing like this, they're going to be giving a lot of teams in the DGL a good run for their money here. Yeah, they are one of the teams to watch out for, as I said. And you can see exactly why here today, Penge, because they are... They are pretty disgusting when when things when things click and it's just it's beautiful to watch. I love watching good Rocket League. I'm also a big fan of watching good Rocket League, and in the end, OK Danger Kids coming out three zero, moving on to the semis, and hopefully we get to see a lot more good Rocket League played by both of these, or well, especially by uh, Danger Kids, and hopefully by the rest of the teams that will be going through as well. I've been Penguin ZA, and I've been joined here by Demonic. Demonic, hopefully we see each other very soon again. Thanks so much for joining me here for this cast, and um, let's hope that there's going to be some more great Rocket League here in the future. 
Indeed, and let's hope that we're there to cast it, Pengi. <laughs> Most definitely. Thanks very much for joining us this uh, this evening, ladies and gentlemen. And Demonic, hope you have a fantastic evening as well. You too.